now reading bible regularly deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 16 and 17 you shall not put the lord your god to test as you tested him at massa you should diligently keep the commandments of the lord your god and his testimonies and his statutes which he has commanded you then you shall do what is right and good in the sight of the lord that it may be well with you and that you may go in and possess the good land which the lord swore to give you your fathers okay then you come to 17 chapter that's what i actually meant 17 6 and 7 16 and 17 moreover he shall not multiply horses for himself nor shall he cause the people to return to egypt to multiply horses since the lord has said to you you shall never again return that way he shall not multiply wives for himself or else his heart will turn away nor shall he greatly increase silver and gold for himself see what was solomon's spiritual life what did grasp he has supposed to keep a copy of this and study always so that he won't turn to the left or right he worship god he created a worship place and god appeared to him twice when he was born it's written god loved solomon now what happened what was his bible study and what was his life was there any agreement with the word and the life what do you learn from that major part of bible study remains as study knowledge doesn't using that knowledge he can write books also and it is useful for many people but what happened to his own life is important writing books he himself says there is no end to writing books making books so what warning you receive from from solomon's so what did you learn from that who made him rich but god said i will make you rich also how many people waited for god's promise god's way this is a question we think because god makes a promise that promise was fulfilled god promises i will be with you that's a promise but is it a reality for you for us god says i will make you rich but he did not wait for you jacob i will not leave you without blessing you i will make you the ruler but jacob didn't wait jacob wanted it quickly abraham i will give you a son he did not wait he produced a son what do you learn from this many things you may manipulate and bring it into your life and say what god bless me many things you manipulate and bring it into your life but all the while saying god did it god did it god did it because that phrase itself keeps you from detecting your danger and I mean dangerous deviation god is blessing me delight in the lord he will fulfill the desire of your heart solomon will say i wanted many wives god is fulfilling the desire of my heart hmm? i wanted to multiply <laughs> wealth god is fulfilling the desire of my heart this is a common quotation god will fulfill the desires of your heart but the previous half is never forgot never read 
Delight yourself in the Lord and the Lord will fulfill the desires of your heart. Once you delight in the Lord, what is your desire? Yes. Then how can you say these are which are against God is God's gift? Forced labor. Most of his building projects were done by forced labor. And tax was very heavy in his country. Very heavy tax. Because the system in land of Israel was a king but the ruling was done by the elders in each place. In his time it became centralized ruling. So he had to increase an army and build up a big army to control the whole land. And that was hated by people. Local government was not functioning. Like in our country when it became emergency, central government. To keep that soldiers, conscription was done, forced labor. And they were made to maintain a big army is so expensive. So all this happened because he wanted to be in control of the whole thing. That was not God's plan. Same thing happened in a church. The pastor wants to take complete control of the thing. He namesake keeps people. But finally the whole thing collapses. Home, it can become like that.